A quick trick to put the current date into a cell is to press control and semicolon. But this next bit will work with any date that you type in. So with the date here, you can reformat the date to anything you like. There's a couple of presets at the top here, which you can use, which are short date and long date. So one is short and one is more descriptive. But if you come down to more number formats, we can press control one or right click and format cells to get here. There's also a whole stack of different date formats in the list here. But I wanna go beyond that and show you how to create your own custom formats. And that's done by using the custom option at the bottom here. Now with dates, there are three main placeholders you need to use. As you can see on this one, it's got D, M and Y, but depending on how you define it, that determines the format of the date. Now let me delete what's here. And the first thing you'll see at the top here is a number. Don't be put off by that. Every date has a number behind it. The numbering system that's used is the 1st of January 1900, that's day one. The 2nd of January 1900, that's day two. And every day since then, they've increased the number by one, and on today's date, the number is this. And tomorrow, it'll be one more than this. Anyway, in the type box, using those three standard placeholders, starting with a D for day. A single D represents a single digit day number. Now, being the 15th, it still shows two digits. But if you're on the first of the month, it will just show one. Two Ds, as a comparison, shows a two digit day every time. So again, 15 stays as 15, but one becomes zero one. Three Ds, shows the first three letters of the day name. So T-U-E in this case. And four Ds shows the full day name. Now with months, it's the same thing. So one M shows a single digit month number. So five for May. Two Ms shows a two digit month number. So zero five for May. Three Ms shows the first three letters of the month. Now it's unfortunate we're in May because that's only three letters anyway, but four Ms would show the full month name. So if you were in September, it would show the full month name. With years, there's a few combinations, but the two I'd stick with are two Ys for 18 or four Ys for 2018. Now, having been through all of that, any punctuation you put in and any order you put it in, that's entirely up to you. So some common formats are things like this, dd-mmm-yy. Now that's a common format because in a big list of dates, the width of each date remains fairly constant. So it's actually quite a nice one to look at. But there's nothing to stop you doing things like two Ds, four Ms, two Ys, and then possibly at the end of it, you might say four Ds. So it's almost like you're saying, today's date is the 15th of May, 2018, and by the way, that's a Tuesday. And anytime you wanna modify it, you can just come in here and edit it. So let's click OK on that one, and there's the date in that format. Now let's do another one over here, so Control semicolon. And with this date, I wanna show you how to modify the date format on the fly. Now to do this, we use what's called a text function. And text is a really versatile function which takes any bit of content and reformats it to a brand new format. So in this case, I'm gonna take the date in this cell and reformat it and you put the format in double quotes. But within the double quotes, you can use the same system of placeholders I just showed you. So let's say we do dd-mmm-yy as a simple example. And close the quotes and close the brackets. And there is your new date format. And obviously with this, you can then combine it with other things. So you might say something like, today's date is, and then finish with a space and close the quotes, and then concatenate it with the text function that you just wrote. And when you press enter, you get a full sentence that is dynamic. So tomorrow, that'll say the 16th of May, and so on. 